generic YouTube greeting. Welcome to Play on Wheels. I am your host, Desert Eagle Ryu. In today's video, I will be discussing what I feel needs to be changed in regards to the Crucible and Destiny. I will also be discussing the Iron Banner as well, and the many issues I have with it. Now before we get started, I am by no means the best Crucible player, nor do I claim to be, so please don't expect the most amazing background video. I just figured it would be appropriate to watch some Crucible while I talk about it. With all that out of the way, let's get started. The first thing I would like to discuss are the modes of the Crucible. For those who play Destiny, you probably know that there are a few set game types that are always there, such as Control and Rumble, for example. But there are also some modes which come and go, like Inferno, which is similar to Call of Duty's Hardcore mode. The issue I have here is the fact that the modes that switch out are never around long enough to be worth really investing the time to get good at them. They'll usually be around for a week or so, but then they'll switch to something else. I find this really unfortunate because a lot of these modes are really fun, and I would really love to be able to play them whenever I feel like it. Another thing I would really love to see are private Crucible matches. These would be great for groups of friends that just want to play together with their own rules and have fun. I really feel that this will be added to the game eventually, due to the fact that I'm not the only person that wants this. Many others have expressed the desire for private matches, so I really feel it's only a matter of time before Bungie delivers. Next, I want to talk about the Iron Banner. For those who don't know, the Iron Banner is an event that comes to the tower every once in a while that gives Guardians the opportunity to participate in special Crucible matches for unique weapons and gear. First off, I feel that exotic weapons should not be allowed to be used during the Iron Banner. To kind of expand on that, I also feel that there needs to be two different modes of play in regular Crucible as well. One that allows exotic weapons, and another that doesn't. Now, yes, I know in the video I am using the last word, hand cannon, which is an exotic weapon. But please just hear me out. A lot of exotic weapons are borderline overpowered in the Crucible, and because of that most people will only use those select few weapons. Because of this, for most casual players, you pretty much have to use one of those exotics just to compete with everyone else. With an event like the Iron Banner, which is supposed to truly test your skill, it really just turns into an event that tests the exotic guns you own. It basically becomes a joke because practically everyone is using the same 4 or 5 exotic guns, and I can't really blame them. Due to the fact that you only get Iron Banner reputation when you win, it does make sense for people to use the absolute best to try to win every time. Making the Iron Banner only allow legendaries as the highest weapon class would let people use a wider range of weapons and bring more balance to the event itself. A lot of people don't even have the exotic weapons that most people use in the Iron Banner, which does make it that much harder to compete with everyone else. Another thing to consider is that even two of the exact same legendary gun can have completely different perks, which I think would make for a much more interesting and fun event. Now about the bounties. Up until this current Iron Banner, which is going on when this video was posted, all the bounties were always the same. They just changed the 20 headshot kills with an auto rifle bounty to 20 headshot kills with any primary weapon. While this is a nice change, especially since auto rifles are fairly useless now, it's the only bounty they've changed. Every day the event is active, the bounties are always the same. Needless to say, this makes completing these bounties incredibly tedious if you're not good at them, and also really boring if you do them every day. I personally believe the bounties should be different every day, just to keep it fresh for those who are good at the bounties, and to give those who may not be as good at completing them a chance at trying some new ones. And that about wraps up this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.